At five, a crack in a cold case, a suspect name in a 1995 rape and murder of a 14 year old girl. This is Nicole Smith. Police say 26 years ago, Kelvin Arnold attacked Smith when she was walking home from school. CBS 46's Adam Murphy has spent all day on this story and he joins us live. And Adam, the victim's mother, says this is good news, bittersweet, I'm sure, but it's not bringing her closure. Well, this has been going on for a really long time, and we're going to get into some of the specifics as to why there's not the closure that she had hoped for. But this crime happened, we did the math, roughly 10,000 days ago, right back here in 1995 in this wooded area just off Campbellton Road. But I tell you, I'm in so much pain. And it... It's not a pill could take that pain away. For the first time in 26 years, Aquinella Smith knows who killed her daughter. Just taking one day at a time. Those are my plans. This mother's nightmare began back in 1995. Her daughter, 14-year-old Nicole Smith, was walking to school in southwest Atlanta, but turned back around after forgetting an assignment at home. That's when she cut through a wooded area, and police say she was brutally attacked, raped, and murdered near where she lived. Started to look into the possibility of trying to identify the suspect utilizing genealogy and ancestry databases. Police confirm they have identified the man they believe is responsible for the crime. He is Kelvin Arnold, seen in this sketch. Authorities said he passed away in August of last year from liver and kidney failure. The Atlanta Police Department pulled out all stops. They interviewed hundreds of people. They brought two recruit classes out to canvas the neighborhood. Uh, and they end up taking blood samples from at least 50 people. APD said they got a forensic match on Arnold in 2004 after a 13-year-old girl was raped in East Point. The victim, Betty Brown, spoke out for the first time Tuesday. I want his family to suffer because he's not here to suffer. I want them to feel the pain that my family has felt for years. Police said they were able to use genetic genealogy and match a DNA sample to the suspect. They were notified of the match just after Christmas. I would never say it was closure for me because I'll live with this pain for the rest of my life. Now the DA's office said there are more Nicole Smiths and Betty Browns that are out there due to a significant backlog of sexual assault cases. In fact, there are over 2,400 sexual assault kits for Fulton County alone that need to be tested. There is more work to do here in the metro Atlanta area to solve very similar cases. This one, though, is progress. Live tonight in southwest Atlanta, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.